welcome back I am making another video this one is going to be part one I hope of a big series on how to set up quest chains for a toy box and I think that's a big thing that toy boxes that are out there so far are missing we have a lot of cool very creative toy boxes that are great scenery but there's not a whole lot to do in them that's one of the complaints that I keep hearing uh, from fellow redditors and forum goers so I set out to try to uh, find a way to implement a quest giving system and I got the, the very beginnings of one. I wanted to show you what I have so far. So uh, the basis of this is that this is a chain of logic gates and each logic gate, what it will do is it will, uh, if, it's a, if it's reachable, it'll go ahead and fire off its series of events that needs to happen for its quest chain. When it's not available, it'll pass through the, uh, the signal received from, like, let's say, approaching Goofy to the next one. And that'll allow us to kind of progress through the chain as we, uh, as we finish one series of quests, the next one becomes available. The basis for this whole thing is a logic connection called input blocked. When <coughs> we select input blocked, that means we're, we're telling the gate what to do in the event that it's closed. And in the event that it's closed, we want it to go ahead and forward the input it receives to the next gate in the line. And each gate in this thing, for the demonstration of the quest line, basically says, oh, here's my, uh, you know, go ahead and give me quest text uh, five. Kick off the text for quest five. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and demo how this works. I did the last two, I saved those, but the others have been done already for the sake of brevity. So, here we go. I am gonna walk up to Goofy and all my logic gates look open. Walk up to him, he's gonna assign me quest one. I'm gonna con continue, accept the quest, come over here and fulfill the quest uh, criteria, maybe collect five cakes from different enemies come back to Goofy, I'll uh, I'll have the five cakes, the quest will end, and I can go and get another quest. Upon completing the first quest, what's going to happen is this logic gate's going to close. And what that's going to do is open up, uh, when I talk to Goofy, the next series of quests. When I talk to him again, he's not going to give me a quest text one again. He's going to give me quest text two and send me off on that set of criteria. And I'm going to go ahead and go do the quest, kill some things, and then... Once that's complete, again, it's going to turn off the logic gate uh, so that now when we approach Goofy, we're dealing with a set of quest criteria for quest 3, and so on. So now I realize this is just a very skeletal view of the uh, how the quest chain system is going to work, but it's very exciting because we can add in the other pieces. We've done a lot of them in, uh, we've seen a lot of them done in other play sets or mini adventures, but what we haven't seen is just... A, que uh, a, toy a toy box that you can just spend some time in, do some quests, and feel like you've gotten an adventure that's equivalent to a playset out of it. So we want that. We want to kind of give you the brave type of adventure or something to that effect. And in this example, uh, I like to kind of liken it to Goofy is Nick Fury and uh, in the Avengers playset. You know, he's stationary. Every time you come up to him, he's got something else for you to go out and do in this landscape. And then the, and then the quest will, will kick off. And by the time you return to him, he'll have a new quest for you. And that's how I intend this to work. So that's that. I hope you enjoy the idea. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Or if you know how to get a hold of me, go ahead and do that as well. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you next time.